What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. I did a little thought experiment with AI. I said, you know what? With XRP, I want you to cut off your knowledge base as of January 1st, 2020. You know everything from that moment back. And you can pull all the real historical data from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, all the top cryptocurrencies, and you get to see how those performed over the bull run, but you're blind with XRP. And knowing that data, I want you to extrapolate where you feel XRP you know, eventually topped out. It's all time high. I think there's some value to this. Knowing, well, what might have XRP done in a better scenario? One where you didn't have an XRP lawsuit, a Ripple lawsuit, and you didn't have an XRP delisting on the U.S. market. Now, that's not what happened, and very real damage was done, but I still think there's some value to going through this thought experiment. I think a lot of people are really discounting what XRP can do when the situation is better like it really is now. Now, before we get into that, a lot of people, I'm shocked, they say, you know what? Bitcoin, Ethereum, these top cryptos, their best days are behind uh, you. You can't make any money by holding them. And I'm always shocked by that reasoning, that logic. If you're like me, a lot of us, we invest in, you know, a lot of real world assets, stocks, real estate. And I still feel when you look at these top crypto assets, they're going to outperform most of your traditional investments. And there's nothing wrong with having proven winners in your portfolio. We look at Bitcoin versus gold. I mean, just look at it, just dominating gold over the last five years. We look at the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ's been doing pretty good. You have some great companies in there just dominating the NASDAQ. I don't think that's going to change, especially with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the broader crypto market now being integrated into traditional finance. I think this is just going to continue. So don't shy away from your top cryptocurrencies just because they're not going to pull a 100x meme coin uh, type, of, type of gain. These are stable winners, and they are still accelerating at a faster pace than most traditional investment options. Now, this is interesting. We look at XRP versus gold on a normalized chart here. Uh, you know, there's times when XRP is absolutely dominated your returns on gold. Now, sometimes gold flippens us. That's currently the case right now, but I have no doubt if you extend this out farther, you're gonna see XRP again, dominate your growth potential for gold. Also with the NASDAQ, same kind of thing here. Now, right now, the NASDAQ is taking a big lead on us, but I have no doubt if you stretch this out farther, you're gonna see that green line, which is XRP just blow past the NASDAQ. Just my personal opinion though, we'll see how it actually plays out. Now, this is an interesting chart. My buddy, uh, Jerry Hall, made an empire off of this one because Cardano was so undervalued. And this is kind of the, the value of understanding current values and what has the best opportunity. When you look at Cardano versus XRP, my God, look at the, especially the top here between these two. And then uh, even now, uh, if you bought Cardano at the bottom back here, you're still just dominating XRP. Amazing. And everything's perspective, isn't it? Because if you are someone that bought in the last two years, well, XRP is doing a lot better than Cardano, than the ADA token. So that has to do with a lot of things. When did you invest? When did you place your capital into a specific asset? Over the last two years, it's been a different story. But this chart, what a, what a magical time that was for the people that really loaded up on ADA back then. XRP versus Bitcoin. I don't need to show you the chart. You understand what's happening here from a norm normalized comparison. And same thing with Ethereum, but I'll tell you this, I think we're going to close that gap. Uh, I'd be surprised if XRP doesn't outperform both of these cryptos by the time the bull run is over. Now, a lot of people are, in my comments, I noticed they're acting like the bull run's already happened. Uh, Bitcoin's at an all-time high. It's almost over. This has been a really odd uh, run for sure, especially with those ETFs kind of pushing prices up uh, sooner than normal. But when we take uh, the top, I did 19, because I think Pepe coin wasn't around. But if we take the last three years and we kind of normalize the prices of all your top cryptocurrencies, I mean, look at the ones that are all still underwater on a three-year comparison. Like, unless you think XRP, ADA, DOT, Matic, uh, Litecoin, Doge, uh, Link, if they're going to be losers, you know, over before the end of this bull run, then we haven't even really got started yet. Yes, Solana is just terrorizing the crypto space. Of course, NEAR and, and Bitcoin and BNB and Ethereum, they're, they're doing well. But I don't think you're going to see this many losers by the time this uh, bull runs over. These all should flip 
not just back to even, but put on significant gains. Uh, this is, again, a very strange cycle. But in my opinion, we haven't really started going yet. Now, that doesn't mean we won't hit downturns. There won't be turbulence, of course. But I think we have a long, long, long way to go before the sucker is anywhere near to being over. So, okay, I'm going to pull up this chart last time. And type down below, what do you think XRP would have hit if we didn't have that court case, the delistings, things of that nature? Because AI, AI feels we would have hit $8.67 which is kind of similar to what a lot of people felt we would hit, somewhere around the 10, 12, 15 range. AI is a little more bearish than that. Uh, but it, with all the known facts, knowing what happened in the bull run, knowing everything about XRP leading up to that bull run, it felt like a, a good projection would be $8.67. Now, we'll never know. We'll never know if that was accurate or that's anywhere in the wheelhouse. We'll see how it plays out. But you know, this upcoming bull run, could we hit prices that high? Absolutely. We could also underperform, as we saw the last time around. You know, only time will tell, but I really feel like we got some great opportunity ahead of us, especially with all these new feature sets and a stable coin and a lot of really important stuff happening. I think sky's the limit. We'll see how, how XRP treats us. It's a vicious coin. It's a tough coin to trade. It's a you know, most of the time it's very punishing, but when it runs, it runs like the wind. And I look for big things. See, the first bull run in history where you can go to a U.S. exchange and easily buy crypto, uh, put your investment in XRP, uh, I think it's going to play all the difference. Let me know down below not only what it should have done last time, but what do you think it's going to do this time around? A lot of people are very negative about XRP. I don't see it, man. I think it's going to be a great time. Let me know. As always, please like please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.